Hello, my name is Mrs. Scott, and I will be reading My Little Sister Hugged an Ape. My little sister hugged an ape and squeezed its tummy out of shape till it let out a burp with a horrible sound and knocked my poor sister right onto the ground. My little sister hugged a bug, a mighty teeny thing to hug. It slipped from her arms and flew up her nose. Bugs prefer noses to arms, I suppose. My little sister hugged a cow, but must have hugged it wrong somehow. It squirted its milk all over the place, soaking my sister's whole body and face. A, B, C, golly gee, my sister's on a hugging spree. My little sister hugged a deer, but one of its horns got stuck in her ear. And she hung from the deer like a coat on a rack, till the deer tipped its head and she fell on her back. My little sister hugged an eel. She likes its slippery, slimy feel. It tied itself up in a long, icky knot and hung from her nose like a big glob of snot. My little sister hugged a ferret, but hugging that ferret did nothing but scare it. So rather than hug it, she wore it instead as a soft, fuzzy hat on top of her head. My little sister hugged a goat, which quickly removed its furry coat and galloped away in its underwear, leaving my sister just hugging some hair. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. My sister's on a hugging spree. My little sister hugged a hog, who slipped as it waddled around in a bog and landed kerplunk with a thunderous thud on top of my sister in soft, gooey mud. My little sister hugged an iguana. I can't imagine why she'd wanna. It almost kissed her, but oops, it missed her and kissed the poor ferret instead of my sister. My little sister hugged a jackal. She caught it with a flying tackle. The jackal was fast, but my sister was faster. She's a quick little hugger and nothing gets past her. She climbed in the pouch of a kangaroo and hugged it and all of its babies there too. But the kangaroo hopped and she fell from its pouch and ended up hugging a pricker bush. Ouch. My little sister hugged a llama and also its brothers and sisters and mama, as well as its daddy and uncles and cousins. Llamas prefer to be hugged by the dozens. My little sister hugged a moose. She was hugging its top when its bottom came loose. She picked up the pieces that fell on the floor and screwed them together and hugged it some more. My little sister hugged a newt who climbed in her mouth because it looked cute and crawled so far down that you hardly could spot him and all you could see sticking out was his bottom. She gave an octopus a hug. Those eight long arms felt nice and snug, gripping my sister in eight different spots and tangling themselves into eight different knots. And then she hugged a porcupine, but the long prickly needles all over its spine kept poking the poor little newt in its rear till the newt ran away from my sister in fear. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. My sister's on a hugging spree, hugging her way from A to Z. My little sister hugged a quail who tickled the octopus with its tail. The poor ticklish octopus laughed till it cried and its eight ticklish arms came completely untied. 
My little sister hugged a rat. She hugged that rat until it was flat. Then she blew in its ear till it filled up with air and hugged it again with a little more care. My little sister hugged a skunk, which would have been pleasant except that it stunk. And the rat and the quail and the porcupine too all held their noses and hollered, P.U. <laughs> My little sister hugged a toad. Be careful, it shouted, or I'll explode. So she hugged the toad lightly rather than tightly, for toes that explode can be rather unsightly. Next, she hugged an umbrella bird, but ended up looking a little absurd, for she hugged it so hard that the bird laid an egg, which broke into pieces and ran down her leg. My little sister hugged a vole, who dragged her down its deep, dark hole. And she probably still would be stuck down there if the ape hadn't lifted her out by the hair. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V. My sister's on a hugging spree. My little sister hugged a worm, which might make other people squirm. Not my sister. It even kissed her, but a kiss from a worm doesn't bother my sister. She hugged an x-ray of a bear. It was only bones, no skin or hair. There's nothing to squeeze, she said with a shrug. It crumples right up when I give it a hug. My little sister hugged a yak who climbed upon my sister's back. For the yak was the kind that hugs from behind. Yaks that hug frontwards are harder to find. She hugged a young zebra whose paint hadn't dried and wiped all the stripes from the poor zebra's hide. The zebra looked silly, its stripes were all gone. But my sister looked sillier, she had them on. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. My sister's on a hugging spree. Oh my gosh, she's hugging me. I dedicate this reading of My Little Sister Hugged an Ape to my little sister, but only because I miss her. Hope you enjoyed today's story.